Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. In order to attach this shelf and the top, I'm going to use these tabletop hold down fasteners. And you guys have seen me use these before. Now, normally I would cut these slots using my biscuit joiner, but I forgot to make the slots before I assembled this, and my biscuit joiner won't fit in here anymore. So instead, I'm going to use a trim router with a slot cutter. I've got a piece of rough four quarter walnut that I'm going to use for the lower shelf. Now I've already cut it to rough length, now I'm just going to straighten one edge of the joiner and then cut it to rough width. Now that I have this face nice and flat for the shelf and I planed it to thickness, I'm gonna go ahead and make one edge nice and straight at the joiner and then cut it to its final width. With the table saw blade tilted to three degrees, I'm gonna cut this shelf to length. So this shelf will just slide in from the back and then get secured from the bottom uh, with those clips that I was talking about earlier. Now this is the second shelf that I had to make because the first shelf that I made with you guys, I cut too short. So I had to make another one. I cut a piece of four quarter walnut to rough length that I'm gonna use for the top. Now I can straighten one edge and cut it to rough width. This piece for the top is nine and a half inches wide. I'm gonna see if I can flatten this with my six inch joiner and a hand plane. Now that I have a nice flat face for this top and it's plain to thickness, I'm going to make a nice straight edge on one side that is 90 degrees to one face, then I'll rivet to its final width. This video is sponsored by Miter Set. Miter Set is a precision jig used to set a miter gauge to cut perfect miters up to 52 and a half degrees. Set the pin to the desired angle. Place the miter gauge into the miter set slot. Recess the half degree detent bar against the pin. Now firmly press the face of the gauge against the detent bar and lock down your angle. It's that easy. Cut perfect miter joints with miter set. With my blade tilted to 12 degrees and the top clamped to this 90 degree support, I'm going to cut a chamfer on both sides of the top. By using a spiral bit and an edge guide, I'm going to put a groove all the way down the back of one of the sides for the electrical. The electrical for the lamp is going to be hidden underneath the top with this cover. And in order to make this cover, I need to hollow out the inside with the stack dado set. The electrical wiring cover is going to be attached to the top from underneath with four screws. So now I just need to pre-drill.
I'm going to secure the top with a dowel in each corner. I'm using dowel centers to help me get the right alignment for the holes in the top. I think my buddy Einstein over there would have to agree that the best clamp you could use is gravity. I put some lamp cord through the holes that we created earlier in this cupboard, and I also went ahead and took some uh, lamp wire and I inserted it in a hole in the back of the lamp, and I tied a knot at the very front. Now this will this knot will keep the lamp cord from being pulled out of the back of the lamp. <laughs> 